everyone, it's Jen on the go. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this channel and for subscribing if you have already done so. Um, if you haven't and you're new here, if you could take a second just to hit the subscribe button below and then the notification bell, you will be reminded each and every time I upload a video, just in case you needed to, to know that. So thank you. You guys know you mean the world to me. Um, I really appreciate all of you. You have been supporting and liking these videos and really engaging with me on this channel. And I'm creating this, creating this channel for every for all of us who are working in the gig economy, who are on Instacart and other platforms as well. Just a place where we can all come together. And I know there are so many other YouTube channels out there and I love them all. So here we go. There's room for everybody, but we are a community. So um, I'm just trying to bring what I know to the community. Um, and I hope that you guys will do the same. So thank you so much. So here we go. As you can tell from the title below, today's video is about Instacart ratings again. And here's why you guys, there's so much angst still, confusion, anger, um, people are devastated. And then you have some people that are happy and elated over the shopper rating systems on Instacart. People are all over the place. Shoppers are all over, all over the place. Even on my own com on the comments on these videos, um, the number one thing I get asked is, "This is my rating. This is where I am. Um, it's it's terrible." Or this is how I got my rating up. So it's always about the ratings, and I get it because unfortunately, this app is all about the ratings. Because the higher your rating the more money you will make. And yes, I know it's zone contingent. Some people live in zones where they have a lower rating and could still make the money that they could at a five star when they're at a 4.92 or 4.96. But I can tell you this from my own experience, and this is why I'm making this video because I think I can be of help to you guys. You may or may not know, but a couple months ago, well, less than a couple months ago, probably seven weeks or so ago, I dipped down to a 4.92 with Instacart. Yikes. I didn't think it would be a big deal until I started looking at the batches and realized, oh man, I lost access to the good batches. So, you know, I had to dig out of that hole. And as of today, when I woke up and I looked at my ratings, I am officially at 78 five star ratings. The good news about that is I've had I, I've had to have zero ratings that have needed forgiven. So I have a little cushion here. 78 five stars is pretty good, but I got to tell you, I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that because I had to dig deep and climb out of the hole and change what I was doing because I wasn't going to let that keep sinking down further and further because I need to make money. I'm doing this to make money and you guys have to make money. This is how people are making their income. For a lot of you, this is, this is your sole income. So I'm just trying to help you. Number one, help you with um, not being discouraged because I'm telling you right now, you guys, I know a lot of you are upset. Um, I've been getting emails and messages on my feed and you can read them in the Facebook groups that people are devastated. Instacart is literally taking away livelihoods regarding lower ratings. So it's very, very important that you keep your ratings up. But at the same time, I want you to know that you guys, even the people who have been shopping since the test of time, since day one, this has happened to every single shopper out there has been dinged in one way or the other, whether it was fairly or unfairly, but I want you guys to know you're not alone. So We've all been there at our low. Some people are lower than a 4.92 and that's okay because at that point, no matter what, you have to dig out of the hole. But I, I don't like a lot of people, what I'm reading, a lot of people comparing. And if you read the Facebook group, some people say, well, that didn't happen to me. I'm still at a five star. You just wait because everyone will get their turn. Not that I'm wishing a lower rating on anyone, but you guys know it happens. And just because I'm at 78 five star ratings today doesn't mean I'm going to wake up with a ding, but at least I built up enough five stars to cushion myself a little bit. If that makes sense. Again, how the ratings work is 
it's based on a rolling 100. So every time you shop, the new shops will replace the old shops. A lot of people are saying, this is ridiculous because I'm losing my five stars every day. They keep going down and down and down. And you guys, this is because you're not being rated at all. Only about 30% of all Instacart customers will actually even bother to rate their shoppers. So if you're just doing the mediocre, going through the app as usual, you probably aren't gonna get a rating. So what's happening is those five stars that you've had are all falling off. Um, you need the new five stars to be added on for those to, for those to replace the ones that are falling off. And again, it takes a hundred. If you're not rated, then those, then the batches you shop, sorry, are considered just neutral and they'll still count towards your 100 batches. However, it's going to knock down your old ratings. Um, if, and I hope that makes sense. And I, I will tell you guys as often as I need to, so we can be reminded of how the ratings work because it is confusing and it's frustrating and people are really angry and we're angry at the customers because we're doing everything right. And if a customer's having a bad day, we are the ones that are being penalized. But I have a little hope. There's a little hope today. I had a viewer who asked if she could rebute a four-star rating. And this was, in, this was regarding a customer approving the item and then leaving a negative mark for receiving the wrong item. That, my friends, is called party foul. Not cool. It happens to all of us. Can customers just not do that? In fact, if you are an Instacart customer and you are doing that, um, you do realize that that is an unfair rating, right? If you approve something and you ding us for giving you the wrong item that you approved, that's just not okay. So please do better. Um, anyway, I get a little heated up at that because it's happened to every single one of us. Anyway, she asked if she can re she can rebuke the four star. Uh, other other uh, viewers did chime in saying, unfortunately, you probably can't fix your rating. My response was, I guess if you've screenshotted the conversation, proving the customer approved the replacement, then maybe thinking like nothing. But anyway, thought that was done until yesterday when this viewer of mine responded to say, it worked, exclamation point. So after I posted this, I got a four star and was back to a, a 4.96 yesterday. So unmotivated. I contacted chat support three times saying the same thing. Why do I have a mysterious four star? I didn't even work on Monday. Apparently a customer had rated me a week later. So I guess customers have two weeks to give or change a rating. I don't know why. Weird. But anyway, Chat support pinpointed the batch for me, and then I looked up the batch and I noticed no way. I was climbing back out of the hole during that batch. I had done everything perfectly and communicated and got every replacement approved, approved before checking out. There's no way I could get a four star. So I explained the situation to chat support, spoke to three different people about it, and one of them actually pushed the claim forward to another department to investigate and they contacted the customer. Woke up just now back to a 4.98. So yes, you can fight your ratings. No need to worry guys, I was able to do it and so can you. I didn't screenshot the approvals, but maybe it's good practice to have some type of evidence if you're ever feeling like, man, I have a feeling this customer might give me a bad rating. They're not in a good mood. This is awesome news exclamation points, all caps. Don't stress, keep doing a good job, but cover yourself. Unfair ratings can be fixed. You guys, this is incredible information. So apparently Instacart is starting to listen to their Instacart shoppers and remove bogus ratings given to us by the customers. This is huge, you guys. Um, there's hope here. I'm not saying that it will happen in every scenario, but what this viewer is stating, like it, it might be best practice to take it a step further and to screenshot your conversation with the customer. We've all had customers, you guys, that we've had a weird feeling about who are perhaps very terse, direct, 
stoic in the responses. I'm usually very friendly when I speak with my customers. And if you're getting like, no, yes, no, you might want to cover yourself because it, there's a likelihood that your gut is telling you something there. Like this customer is not friendly. They're not nice. They're just waiting to be a n negative to, to just ding you. And a lot of people in this world, you guys, unfortunately are like that. No matter what you do, it's never going to be good enough. So in that situation, I would say, take the extra step. If they've approved your replacements and maybe there's only a couple of them that you have to screenshot, do it. It's just an extra step. And you guys, unfortunately, right now we're playing by Instacart's rating system. You have to dot every single I and cross every single T every single time to get a five star or at least forget about the five star to not get dinged. And that's what this is about. So great job to this viewer, this Instacart shopper who went the distance and, and stated again that she had to go through three different Instacart chat support people until she got the answer she wanted. And it works. So you guys, if this ever happens to you um, and you know for sure you are in the right, it's probably worth the fight. It's worth going to chat support. And if you don't like the answer you're getting the first time or the second time or the third time, try it the fourth time. It might work. This girl has tenacity and I'm proud of you. Congratulations on getting your, rate, your, your rating up. You deserve it. We all deserve it, right? So anyway, there is good news here, you guys. I think Instacart might be softening, softening a bit. Um, I wouldn't want to lose a shopper like that. I wouldn't want to lose a shopper like me or you, right? So kudos to Instacart for maybe listening and doing something about it. So that was great information. Um, so you guys, another thing I just wanted to let you know, to get as many five stars as you can and to get out of the hole that you're in, don't compare yourself to other people because every single person is going to have who is going to be in that hole and don't think for one minute they're not going to be. Hopefully they're not there long. You're not going to be there long. I wasn't there long, but you just have to do the work to get out. You have to be patient. It's going to take a while to climb out of the hole, you guys. Um, I know when I was at a 4.92, I was like, oh my gosh, I kept waking up the next day thinking I would be out. But then I realized it's going to take a while because it's a hundred batches that you have to take. And not only in that 100 batches, is it going to take for the old ratings to fall off? You have to hope that you don't get a lower rating in the meantime. So just really work hard every day, set a goal, be consistent, um, try to do the same amount of batches you can each day. You know, if, if you do four a day, seven days a week, that's 28, 28 a week, right? And that's 20, 40, 60, that's, that's, that's over a hundred a month. So you'd have to go hard like that. A lot of you can't do that every day and don't have the liberty of carding every day like some people and you can only do it on the weekends. so do what you can on the weekends also remember that a triple batch has three ability triple batches and double batches count as singles so if you do three if you do one batch and it has three orders that's three ratings so keep in mind when you do those that's very important you can knock them off sooner than than usual um, take the small batches. They will add up. That's probably all that's going to be given to you anyway. So just take them and do them and think of it as a challenge. And in the meantime, I hope you're multi-apping and discovering other opportunities for income while you are waiting for your rating to climb up so that you can make the big bucks again or the bigger bucks, right? Um, so again, just keep in mind, 30% of your customers are even going to ever rate you. So I have a lot of five stars right now. I did a video uh, prior to this video, I think it was a couple weeks ago, on how to get your rating up as fast as you can. And I'm going to link that in the channel in, in the description below so you can watch that if you haven't. But I go into detail about how extreme customer service, superior customer service is what it's going to take um, to get that many ratings. And you guys, it is. I changed the way that I service the customers. Yes, you're going to have a crappy customer once in a while, but for me now, they're further and farther in between. And um, the comments I'm receiving on the daily are just crazy. Um, I've just upped my customer service game, over communicate, over deliver every single time. 
and you have to. If you want to be an Instacarter, an Instacarter that can actually make a living, you have to go. You have to go the my. You have to go the extra distance for every single customer. Um, again, I'm going to link that video so you can watch it. I also want to do an updated video of that because I have added extra things to my rhetoric when I'm talking to the customers. That seems to really go a long way with them. Um, but for time's sake, for not making this video longer than it is, I'm going to stop here pretty soon. But um, I do want to know in the comments below if you are one of those shoppers who successfully got your rating up as quickly as you could, would you please be so kind as to share what you did in the comments below, how you did it, what your strategy was, um, maybe what some challenges were along the way, or if you got knocked back down while you were climbing up, because the viewers here really need to hear it. There are a lot of the viewers on this channel that are expressing their dev their devastation. You guys, please don't be devastated. You're awesome just like you are. We are all in this together. We are all being rated the same way by the customers out there. Um, it's not a fair metric system, we know that, um, but at least Instacart is starting to listen a little bit and take some of the lower ratings down. Um, so we have to hold on to hope and hold on to each other and just help each other out every second that we can. Um, so you guys, that's all I wanted to say today about the ratings. Um, again, if you have any questions about the ratings, please let me know. Um, that seems to be the number one thing people want to know about. And uh, yeah, I'm here to help in any way I can. Just the bottom line is please don't get discouraged. It's so easy for us to get discouraged. Look, it happened, it, it, I, I'm the same way. I wake up with lower ratings and it just punches you in the gut every single time, but we have to stop that. Um, Cause we're all in this together and knowing that other people are going through this too, every single shopper out there, no matter how good or how bad you are, like we're all getting dinged. So it's okay. Um, just keep doing what you're doing, provide a superior customer service. And those five stars are going to start climbing up really quickly. Do as many as you can. Um, and that's it. So you guys, I will see you soon. I hope everyone's having a great week and making their daily goals and hitting your daily goals. And um, let's stay in touch in the comments below. Thank you for liking this video. Again, for subscribing if you haven't. Please hit the notification bell. That way you're reminded every single time I upload a video. All right, guys. Over and out for now. I'll be in touch so soon. Bye.